Greetings from Bethel Memorial Baptist Church. I'm Pastor Brent, and it's another prayer meeting night. We had 15 people online and had a great time of sharing praises and prayer requests. It's just encouraging to be with brothers and sisters in the Lord and pray together. Before we pray, I always share a couple of verses, and I was thinking this week, I turned the news on one morning, and I heard about two policemen that were shot and killed because they were serving an eviction notice to somebody. And as we look at the darkness around us, the violence of this world, people do not respect private property. If I want something of yours, I will take it. And they don't respect life because if you're in my way, I'm going to clobber you or I'll even kill you. And just to see those things, it reminds me that a godless society is going to act that way. And we have the privilege as believers to help point people to something more than just evolution. Evolution is the survival of the fittest. So any way that you can beat somebody is okay because that's what they believe. But we believe in a creator God and he has a purpose for us. So let me pray as I share a few verses about that. I thank you, Father. I thank you for the way you care for us, even though we do not deserve it, that you choose to love a sinful people. And you want to be the light in this dark world. And you want to shine your light through your children. And I pray that we would just be able to do that as we cling to the promises of your word. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The other day, my devotions were from this verse. We love because he first loved us. Again, in evolution, there's no reason to love. We just compete to win. But in, in God's, as a creature of God, as a creation of God, I see his love for us. And because of that love, he calls me to love others. So we love because he first loved us. And then today, my, my verse was from Psalm 94, 19. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Think about that. Plenty of things to worry about. Watch the news. You're going to worry. Plenty of things to worry about. When, but when that grows we can turn to God and his consolation, his presence and consoling us can bring us great joy. There are times when I look at the darkness that I wonder, are love, joy, and peace even possible anymore? Well, according to these verses, yes. And when I think about peace, this is usually when I think about anxious thoughts, this is the verse that comes to mind. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. What a promise that the peace of God that goes beyond my ability to understand will guard my heart. It will stand guard over my heart against the anxious thoughts. As I was thinking about joy and peace particularly, I was thinking of comparing them to mercy and grace. When I think about mercy, mercy is the absence of punishment where I'm not getting what I deserve. But grace is the presence of blessing that God gives me what I gives me what I don't deserve. Instead of removing something, the punishment that I do deserve, it's more than that. He gives me the grace. He gives me the blessing. So when I think about joy and peace, I think about that the same way. The peace would be the absence of anxiety that I can kind of fight off the anxious thoughts through prayer. But when I think about his consolation bringing me joy, in his presence there is fullness of joy. So joy is, is the positive presence of God making my life joyful. So as I think about that first verse that I shared, we love because he first loved us. I want to add to it. We rejoice because he rejoices over us. We rest in peace because he is our peace. And I want to challenge you to think about many things that you could put in this blank, things that are great that we can cling to. The only reason we have them is because he has done something. You could go through the rest of the uh, fruit of the spirit. We are patient because he is patient with us. We are kind because he gives us his kindness. We are good and useful for him because he gives us his goodness. We are faithful because he is faithful. We are gentle because he is gentle. We are self-controlled because he is self-controlled. 
There are many other things you can think of to put in there, but it gives us a chance to praise God and to lift our, our hearts with the fact that in the midst of darkness, there is a great light that desires to shine in and through us. I pray that you are blessed tonight as you think about that. Let me close in prayer. I thank you, Father, for love. It was your idea. You are love. You are peace. You are joy. You are so many things. And as we see you in our, and we have you present in our lives, we can be those things as well. We don't make them up on our own. Every good and perfect gift comes down from you, the Father of lights. Help us to take those blessed gifts and shine in the dark world that we live in. Bless us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless.